Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just after Fajr here in Laqabish. MashaAllah tabarakallah. There you see the masjid behind me. Alhamdulillah. So every Tuesday night we have a family meetup at our masjid, mashaAllah tabarakallah, or at somebody's home. So yesterday we spoke about justice and oppression. <coughs> And how oppression is looked at very negatively in Islam. And how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam are <coughs> complete advocates of justice. I gave the example of Umar radiallahu anhu. One of the things which is said about Umar radiallahu anhu in the Arabic language is وَإِن يَسْأَلُوكَ عَنِ الْعَدْلِ فَقُلْ مَا Umar. If people are to ask you about justice or its presence in this world, or the meaning of justice, then tell them Umar bin Khattab has died. Because literally, Umar radiallahu anhu was an embodiment of justice. If justice was to be given a form, it would be Umar radiallahu anhu. Literally, when people ask me, give me some inspirational stories to read, I tell them, you don't need to look far. Look at the Quran, look at the life, life of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Look at the lives of his blessed companions and wallahi you'll be inspired. You know, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to empower ourselves with the knowledge about the lives of these amazing luminaries. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for guidance and we ask Allah to let justice and peace prevail on our beautiful world. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. You can see how cold it is in Laklabish. My beard is turning white in seconds. Jazakumullah <laughs> khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.